Here in Smith's chapter 7, number 51, we want to label things as protic or aprotic. And this can be a little confusing, but once you see it once, I believe you'll be set for life. We basically want to look for an OH bond or an NH bond if something's protic. And aprotic just contains carbon bromine bonds or carbon oxygen bonds. There's no OH or NH, okay? So, you know, it might be helpful to draw the Lewis structure or sketch it out a bit. So uh, this one here is an alcohol. And alcohols are all classified as protic solvents because of that bond right there, okay? So we would call this protic. For uh, this guy here, we have nitromethane. Um, these, um, it's a weird Lewis structure, so maybe I should draw it out. Uh, but um, this has no OH bonds. It has no NH bonds. So this is what we call aprotic. CH2, Cl2. Well, we don't need to draw the Lewis structure there. There's no O or N, so this is aprotic. Molecule uh, D is ammonia. Well, that has NH bonds, right? So we're going to label that as uh, protic. Yeah, so ammonia is a protic solvent. Um, the next one, NCH33, we've got nitrogen with three bonds, but in none of this are there any um, nitrogen-hydrogen bonds. So we're going to label this a protic. Um, F, this thing's called formamid. This is a little bit um, difficult to draw out, but um, it contains a carbon-oxygen pi bond, and then this is NH2. Okay. And again, those are the offending features if we don't want this to be there. So we would label this as a protic solvent. Okay, protic solvent. So uh, bottom line, if you have OH or NH bonds, we call it protic. Okay, thanks for watching.